Hey guys, today I will be explaining and demonstrating for you how to set up and carry out your marble in a cup experiment. Some materials that you want to have ready to perform this experiment are a cup, either foam or plastic, a ruler, some books, a marble, some scissors, and some tape. Now let's look at the purpose of this investigation. The purpose of the experiment today is to determine if and how the height that a marble is rolled from affects how far it's able to push a cup. We of course are going to collect data to answer this question by rolling a marble from different heights into a cup. Now, let me show you and demonstrate how to set up and perform this experiment. So the first thing that you want to do, of course, is gather up your materials. You can see that I have all of my materials here. So as I mentioned, you can use whatever cup you have available as long as it is either plastic or foam, something that you're able to cut and is relatively light. So the first thing that we want to do is make a hole in the bottom of our cup. If we're to sit the cup with the open side down. I want to make a hole on that side that's large enough for the marble or the ball that I have to roll into it. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and very carefully with a pair of scissors cut an opening in the bottom of my cup that is again large enough for my marble to roll through. So there's mine. So now once that is ready we'll go ahead and set up our ramp. So as I mentioned before, you want to make sure that you have some books. Of course, if they're science books like this one, it's even better. I mean, you're going to start with probably one book, which will be your lowest height. So once you have your book set up, with some space for your ramp coming out, you want to go ahead and measure the height of that book because that, of course, will be your first height of your ramp. So using your ruler, go ahead and measure that first height. Then you're going to actually set up your ramp. So you're going to take your ruler and you are going to place it on top of the book so that it becomes like this ramp situation for your marble to roll down. should only have just a little bit of the ruler sitting on top of the book, just enough that it's able to stay balanced, as you can see here. Then I've already done mine, but you're going to take a little bit of tape and you are going to mark the starting point for your cup at the very, very bottom of your ramp. So you can see that I've lined it up right with the bottom of my ruler. Now I'm going to take my cup with the hole that I cut and line it up at the very, very start of the tape with the opening lined up to the ramp so that the marble is able to roll inside. Now, once I have my entire apparatus set up like this, we're ready to run our first set of trials. So in this trial, which is my lowest height, I'm going to go ahead and take my marble and place it at the very top of the ramp. Now, I don't want to push it or throw it. I simply want to place it and allow the height of the ramp to do the work. So I am going to place my marble and allow it to roll down into my cup. Now that marble should push your cup back some distance. Once that happens, you are going to take either the same ruler if you only have one, which may be the case, but if you have another ruler, that would be great, and go ahead and actually measure the distance from your starting point to, you shouldn't do that, you should not touch your cup, to where the cup rolled. You can see here that in my case, that would be about one centimeter. You are then going to repeat the process for two additional trials at this height. You will then use the other books that you've collected to create ramps at varying heights. For instance, I will add this other book and I will be able to set up a ramp at a higher height. Don't forget to measure the height of your ramp before you run your trials. We'll then 
carry out the exact same process. Line up my cup to the exact starting point of my tape. Roll my marble into the cup. And measure the distance that the cup is pushed by the marble at each height. Don't forget to run three trials at each height and to calculate your average distance push for each height. 